It's a beautiful day today. It was raining earlier, but it turned out to be a beautiful day. So, actually, it looks like I see some bait right over there. I'm just fishing um, a little beach area in our neighborhood right now. So, we'll see. Sun came out, so maybe the fishes came out too to feed. There is literally something right in front of me that just did something. It just made like a swirl. Let's see if I can get it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, in this video, I was just fishing on the White Oak River, uh, just trying to see what was out there, you know, what kind of bait was out there. And uh, if this helps you guys, uh, please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you. Today I'm using a an eighth ounce jig head, I believe, just because we're still in winter here. Even though it's probably about 60 degrees, 65 degrees, there's definitely some bait in there. I just saw some bait jump. I'm just kind of trying to go real slow. I'm still, every now and then, I have a paddle tail on. You can see it, but, so I have a it's probably a four inch um, Z-Man Minnow Z with a paddle tail and I, it's like the pearly white color. Um, I forgot the exact term for it, but um, and an eighth ounce red jig head. Let's see if we can get something. Hope you guys can see okay. I'm just kind of slowing it down right now. Um, going a little bit slower than I did in my in my previous video. Kind of still doing the same the same thing. Um, and with the eighth ounce jig head, um, it slows down the fall of the of the hook too instead of because normally I use the quarter ounce that's kind of like my go-to is the quarter ounce shake head but right now because it's still winter time I'm kind of getting into early spring here this is um I'm trying to think what day it is it's like March 20 something I just saw something jump right over here in the grasses. I don't know what it was. I just saw a head, but it was dark. I don't know if it was just like a big mullet or a speckled or a red. I'm not quite sure, but I'm gonna see if I can get it. There's something hanging out in this little cove over here. I'm just not sure exactly what it is yet. Looks like I'm here fishing probably about a, I don't know, probably about halfway through a falling tide. And I'm here in the White Oak River, which is very close to where we live. Um, it's actually, this is like the beach area, like in our neighborhood, so. Oh, I'm caught on something. Probably some grasses. I 
I'm using my new Florida fishing product reel that I got for Christmas. It's awesome. I love it. So, I'm about to change out my I'm about to change out my my bait on my pop and cork uh, rig and I just joined the Salt Strong Insider Club um, like last week and I just got my uh, package in the mail and I'm gonna just stick one of these on see if this works I bet you these sparkles will come look really nice in the dark water here this is like brackish water um, here on the white oak so normally darker colors do better here from my experience anyways procure a little slit underneath them probably I'm gonna put it there so all right let's try it out maybe maybe it's time maybe it's time for the popping cork we'll see I have some be uh, seen some seen some bait so We'll check it out. It's not too deep here. It's only about right now, because like I said, it's on an outgoing tide or a falling tide. It's probably about, I don't know, two, three feet deep right here where I'm at. Gets a little deeper towards the middle. There's a couple channels in there that get a little deeper, but for the most part, it's like two to three feet right here right now. And with a popping cord, I'm kind of using the same movements, basically just pausing and I'm going to do, I'm going to do a jig, let it fall. And I'm just going to do a little bit slower motion, but, and then jig, jig. And basically I'm just looking for the cork to go under the water. Um, you want to try and keep, there's going to be a little bit of slack on your line because of the cork, but you want to try to keep it as uh, tight as possible. Again, just like you're doing a regular jig. And the pole I'm using today, or the rod and reel combo that I'm using today is, <laughs> well, for this anyways, I switched over. I was using something else, but I switched over to this. Um, it's nothing expensive for sure. Um, I got it from Bass Pro Shops. I want to say it was like 40 bucks for the rod and reel combo. It's called a quick draw. Um, I want to say it's like, I don't even know how long it is. Um, probably like six and a half, seven foot rod. And it's really lightweight. Like it's a light action rod. Um, I prefer that when fishing inshore. Um, that's just my preference. Just because I like to feel, I want to make sure that I'm feeling the bite. It's probably about, about 7 o'clock here. So the sun's going down. That's a beautiful sunset. After we've had rain for probably the past, and it's been cloudy and rainy for the past like two or three days, so definitely nice to see the sun. Okay guys, I tried to, I was trying one more spot before I went in for the night and something hit it. I don't know what it is, let's see. 
back a red. Heck yeah, that's a pretty good size one. Hope you guys can see it. Sorry, kind of sort of see it. <laughs> well, it's a little red. It's not. It's not super big, but I'm probably just gonna go ahead and throw it back. But it's a pretty good size one. Not too bad. I'd say probably. I don't know. Maybe. 16 17 inches maybe not too bad right here in the white oak river all right let's go ahead and let them go unfortunately i'm on a pier so i can't really so i'm just gonna have to drop them in so well he swam off so i guess we're good thank you buddy I guess I definitely picked the right spot. I figured I was hoping this point right here was gonna produce something, and it did. Let's see if we can get another one. It's an old popping cork. I thought it might have been a little bit early for the popping cork, but I had seen some bait and mullet earlier splashing around and that's what this thing kind of mimics so I guess it was a good choice I'm gonna try it a few more times but it's starting to get dark out here I know you just can't see anything really that I'm doing I wish there were some lights out here but there's not unfortunately this is just out of my uh the neighborhood we live in has a boat launch and a pier and i'm just out here on the neighborhood pier fishing on the white oak river well guys this is the only fish i caught that afternoon um but hey you know what it, it's it's looking good I'm, I'm i'm looking forward to this year's fishing season um well i just wanted to tell you guys about a little <laughs> a little video incident that I had. Um, so basically back in January, I was doing a speckled trout tournament uh, in my area here. And I actually caught a pretty good sized trout. Um, but unfortunately, <laughs> I did have my camera on me, but I wasn't able to record the catch. Um, I thought I was. And then after looking back, I realized that I didn't actually record the catch. But I did get uh, some recordings just after the fact. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you those recordings and like, again, I hope you guys enjoyed everything. Please like, subscribe, share. Um, I would appreciate it really. Um, and if you guys want to want me to go anywhere or, you know, in my area anyways, to go check out some spots, please let me know and I'll go check them out. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Guys, look what I just caught. I don't know if I got it on camera or not, so I'm just going to show you guys now. It is a 21-inch speckled trout. This guy's fat, too. Look at that belly. 